the video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Illustrator CC 2015.2, the dynamic symbols. Now, if you've got a design here, and this one is a compound pass, and so you've got all these, so just dragging that over into the symbols. If I just drag that over into the symbols, I can save it as a dynamic symbol. Just say, okay. And now if I try and change the individual colors of each of these, using the direct selection, that's the tool to use. So I can now just go over here and just select. Well, actually, to be honest, you can't change the color. So if I actually just go there, it just won't change now. So no use whatsoever. However, there is a way around this. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And I've got the design here. What you can do, you can use another feature of Illustrator, and I'm just going to go here, a live paint bucket. So you've got a they're fairly complex, they're made up of a number of different paths. And I, I guess you obviously might have other symbols that are made up of paths, made up lots of different individual parts. So just going to go over there. And I'm going to change that part to red. I'm going to change that part to pink. I'm just going to obviously randomly change different colours. I'm not doing this. So I'll just quickly do that, just change that. And I could leave some bits black, but I'm just going to... Go there and orange. You can see basically what I'm doing. Obviously, depending on the complexity of the path and how many paths, it's going to take longer. So that's there and just go there. Okay, so once you've actually done that, you can expand. And I'm just going to expand that. And what I want to do then is ungroup. So now what you can see, you've actually just got individual. Now, at this point, of course, you can see now you can actually use that path. So you can just select that. Drag that into the into the symbols and dynamic symbol. Click OK. So you've got the design there. Remove that. So you can now drag that over to there. And I'm just resize that a bit. And I'm just going to drag another one as well. And resize that slightly over there. And what you can do, you can and it has a quirk sometimes where it doesn't seem to actually select. So you can actually go here now with direct selection tool and just select. And you'll notice it doesn't actually, sometimes you actually have to unselect and then deselect and then go back on it again. It doesn't seem to work exactly in the way that, right. So once you actually selected that, you can see now you can actually change the colors. So you can just go to there. And of course you can do more than just change color. You can go, also just change color there, just to choose. So it doesn't affect that one, doesn't affect the master, but you can also, of course, apply effects. So you can just apply any of these effects, maybe like a blur. So if you want to decide, just have that slightly blurred, click OK. And again, you've got that design and you've got a very modified there, but it's not changed over here. And you can do other things like stroke, brushes, etc. cetera. And I'm going to show more other videos to show that as well. Right. That's it, just a quick run through. And now you've got, so you can see that uh, changing a more complex path than just a very basic sort of one or two pass. And this twirl design, you can find that on the graphic extra site in the font section. So it's a whole range of different fonts. Just quickly show you the twirl set there. So that's basically what it's based on. So you can recolor it in thousands of ways in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.